Hello and welcome to Aurelian University. In this video, I want to talk really quickly about Latin's first declension. So in Latin, we have five declension patterns. So five ways that noun forms change depending on their case, which we talked about earlier, and their number, which we also talked about earlier, um, depending on whether they're singular or plural. So every or combination of singular and plural in all the cases has its uh, own form that we use when that case is necessary grammatically and when that number is semantically necessary. So when we're talking about singular or plural items. So we're going to go, I'm just going to run through these forms really quickly with the word por, uh, porta, which means door, as an example. So we have porta, portai, portai, portam, porta, porta, portai, portarum, porta, uh, sorry, portis, portas, Portis, porta. So those are Latin forms. And so uh, really quickly, I want to go over this vocative form here. Uh, vocative is a case we didn't discuss earlier in the last video because it's, it's actually quite a, an easy concept for most people to grasp. So I, don't, I didn't think it was necessary. But vocative is when you're calling out to something. So normally you wouldn't do this for a door. You wouldn't say, oh, door. Uh, but if your mom's calling you to go get uh, to come in to eat dinner or something like that, um, she would use the vocative form of your name. Now, for most nouns, the vocative is going to be identical to the nominative. So for 99% or maybe not 99% of the time, uh, but for most forms. And certainly in the first declension, it will be um, the vocative will be the same as the nominative. Um, so really quickly, just to review, nominative, subject. Genitive, uh, this is possessive. So portai would be of the door. Portarum would be of the doors. Dative is two or four. So this would be to the door, to the doors. Accusative is um, the direct object. So if you were to say, I love the door, it would be with portam. If you were to say, I love the doors, it would be portas, amo portas. Uh, ablative is uh, generally instrument or with a preposition. And so you could say, um, uh, what would you use a door as an instrument for? Well, <clears throat> if you were to say with a door, uh, it would be cum porta or cum portis would be with doors. And then the vocative is again, if you were calling out to a door, it would be porta, maybe with an exclamation mark there, and then portai in the plural.